What will be true of y wherever e is 0? What will be true of y wherever e is 0 is that y is equal to c. Wherever e is 1, y will be the opposite bit from c. So in other words, e contains the errors. This is the error vector. So for example, if uh, let's make c the all zero code word from our single parity check. And e is this. So in that case, y would be 0, 1, 0, 0. So in other words, the second bit is flipped. Similarly, uh, in our single parity check code, the all one vector is valid. It's not valid in every code. The all zero is valid in every code, in every linear block code, but not the all one. We have the same error pattern, mod two we get 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. So in other words, the error pattern, the error sequence E, uh, gives us an idea of which bits were flipped. So this is, this is the distortion that the channel introduces. So the strategy at the decoder, now we'll look at a different kind of linear block code in a couple of weeks, um, which does not use this decoding strategy. But um, the traditional decoding strategy is this. So if we receive Y, form the syndrome S, which is equal to uh, what I, whatever I receive times H transpose. So the syndrome S will be a 1 by n minus k vector. Let's distinguish it between two uh, tasks here, error detection and error correction. So error detection simply means determining whether an error has occurred or not. An error has occurred, obviously, if what I receive is not a code word. So how would I take the syndrome and determine whether an error has occurred or not? See if it's zero, exactly. So uh, y is equal to c plus e. So um, y h transpose is equal to c plus e h transpose, which is equal to c h transpose plus e h transpose, which is equal to c h transpose for any valid code word is zero. So this is e h transpose. If no errors have occurred, this will be zero. If it's non-zero, I can guarantee that an error has occurred. However, under what circumstances will this be zero even if an error has occurred? Uh, that's for the single party check, but more generally. Oh, uh, if he's in Code That's right, if the error pattern just so happens to be a valid code word. So undetected error. If E happens to be a code word. In other words, if E is in the code. And that makes sense because if E is in the code, E plus C is a valid code word because this is a linear code.
Okay, how about error correction? Again, we form the syndrome. Singular. They should all be unique, right? So if um, if all of these guys are unique, then the syndrome will pick off where that error occurred. So since really interesting actually. So if, um, in this example, we have, um, I, I gave you 7, 4, so let's think more generally. If I have an NK code, and uh, I form EI H transpose, have here is EI times a matrix with N rows and N minus K columns, where this is H1, H2, 